Hello and welcome, my name is Akira and this is my Let's Play series of Distant Worlds Universe, where we are playing as the Slukans of the Ashuran Empire. Yeah, and um, the last time we kind of dealt um, with some retrofitting of our ships and uh, still dealing with a lot of these pirate bases popping up all over our empire. Um, but we kind of not need to find out what the next step is. Um, still have a lot of money, so we uh, a lot of cash flow, so we can still afford to expand uh, quite a bit yet. Um, so we need to find out where we want to expand to. And uh, we are getting into that situation where we are getting surrounded on most sides. Um, we were talking about getting this planet up here. Um, if I can just find it. I'm pretty busy in here, it seems. Uh, this planet, the uh, Tatooine 2 planet, um, which have, has uh, almost 2 billion slukins on it. Uh, which, of course, we, we kind of want to uh, get all of our people into uh, the, the Empire. Um, but uh, Black Dragon uh, mentions that we might get overextended if we go this far up. Uh, and he definitely has a point, but uh, right now uh, we are also by far the most uh, the most powerful nation. Um, so I'm I'm really not too worried about that. So I think we're still going going to go for this planet. But one thing I did notice though was that um, that uh, uh, what the diodes down here aren't that protected uh, either. So we might actually want to go for these guys before they get too powerful. I just want to check with our... Uh, we are still have a noble reputation because we're killing all those pirates. So we can definitely take it. So I think that's probably the f next thing we're going to do. Uh, one thing I do want to check on though is... Uh, our, we built a colony ship uh, some time ago and it's actually done. So let's send that off. Uh, select and go to ship and we want to colonize this planet up here and maybe we want to get rid of some of all of these pirates though there's a lot of pirates here so I think the attack fleet alpha uh, let's got to get the beta fleet in there uh, right away I want to get this planet as fast as possible uh, and we wanted to get that colony ship. We'll just send it, um, send it here to this uh, moon, so it will be in the system. It'll be on the way at least. And then we need to find out uh, if we want to build more colony ships. Do we have any more? Um, I think we only have. Uh, Marshy Tech uh, so far. Uh, we act all actually also have continental colonization, so we can colonize both Marshy Tech and col uh, um, continental planets with our current um, current tech. So let's look at the quality of these planets. So we have a 95% planet with. And pretty okay size. Uh, let's go to that colony. Oh, it is a continental planet, but we can do these now. And it also has a ruin that we haven't actually tested out yet. So um, that is probably our next target. Uh, which mm, actually is towards this, so it actually makes sense uh, to go up this way if we are going to go for this planet. We may even end up close enough that we can use a colony ship, but we'll f we'll see it about that. But I think this will definitely be the next target for colonization. So what I'm gonna do is gonna find. Uh... So this is just going to refuel. Um, I'm just gonna queue up a mission to explore the system, and then I'm gonna go into the construction menu and buy another. Con uh, find the planet. A human hive and queue of another uh, colony ship. 
and then we're just gonna check out how uh, the beta fleet are doing. Oh, and another another thing, actually, uh, this wasn't a comment, but something I saw in another Let's Play. Um, you might want to check out your uh, spaces, your spaceports, and check out. Uh, we have 12 construction yards on these things, um, but it might actually be beneficial to add more so we can build and uh, and repair more stuff at a time. And I think I'm gonna um, go through these at the end of the episode just to kind of look at the construction yards and uh, see if we want to change some of that. But I think I'm gonna keep that to the end so we uh, don't have too much... Uh, uh, Retrofitting and stuff like that in the middle of episodes. So there are a lot of pirate activity here. That must be a lot of their military power here. Hope we don't get too squashed. Hopefully, some of the pirates are fighting amongst themselves as well. And we got some money. Oh no, a massive sinkhole. Um, there's been a massive sinkhole and more colony Yahuna 1 in the Yapunia Yipun system. The entire content continent has suffered extensive uh, crustal collapse, sending entire cities plunging into vast underground pools of modern debris. As a result, there has been an extensive loss of life, and the sinkhole has even damaged the quality of the planet itself. So let's check out that. So the quality of the planet fell to 53%. And uh, the population must have fallen as well, but I don't remember what it was before, but this is definitely a problem. Uh, this damage will repair on its own, uh, but there is a um, possibility if we get to ocean or desert colonization. Um, Oh, we need to get enhanced storage first, but then we can actually build uh, terraforming facilities that will um, help repair that. So we might actually want. Oh, we are pretty. We are going th this right now. Maybe it's a bit early. Maybe I'm gonna wait with this. Um... I'll go and go for storage systems at least, and I'm I'm gonna see what happens when uh, we get there. If there's something we need. So anyway, back to the fleet. So is this guy? Hopefully he has. Oh. Let's get you to escape as well. But we are doing quite fine here. Even if we lose those three ships, it's pretty bit a pretty good battle for us. Taking out a lot of pirates. And um, see if that colonization ship is ready. So let's do this. And we also want actually we also want some Where are these guys? Let's get them to pick up some troops. Because we want to get some troops over there right away to deal with those pirate bases. And the colony ship is coming here. Well protected by this whole fleet. It is a bit slow, we might want to deal with that. And we colonize this planet, so we already have about 2 billion on this planet, which is really nice. It's not the best planet in the world, but... Uh, Having starting out with two billion people is definitely a good thing. So they 
put, picked up some troops, uh, troops, so let's put them down on this planet. And we are dealing with a lot of pirates in this uh, system. Uh, we might want to build a, a defense fleet for this planet, by the way. So we're gonna take and build eight of these and uh, eight of these. Seems to be a lot of activity in this system, and uh, it probably won't go away until the pirates' um, control kind of diminishes. Um, so we will probably be well off having a, a good fleet here. So we'll base that at the new system, Myan, Myurma, Myurna, I think, uh, Myurma, yeah. So it's the Myoma Defense Fleet. And we'll just find that. And we'll set it to defend, to defend Myoma and system. So attack fleet Alpha. Here doing some fighting apparently. I think they went into this uh, planet to refuel and then just ended up in a big space fight. And I think we can just start building the. We'll just go for a. Uh, we'll start with a small spaceport just so we have some defense here before uh, we start building it up to a bigger spaceport. Okay. So the, they are flying up there now, and the, probably the next step will be to take this planet um, before they get too powerful, I think. Yeah, and of course we need to uh, fry a lot of stuff up here, but uh, that will also be uh, top. That will be a problem until we uh, clear off some of these pirates. Had got my tongue there. And our invasion fleet is here. Putting on a lot of troops to this planet. Uh, Walden and captured the Yaga Wolf. That will just be retired. Um, so back to this. Just choose this planet and. We'll go attack these facilities. I think they'll just attack them, uh, the both of them. And there will be no problem at all. Oh, and all of our construction ships, uh, almost all, are uh, done. So let's retrofit the old old ones here. Uh, oh, they all can... they all need a retrofit. Okay. Well, that uh, just retrofit this while he was just escaping anyway. Okay. So how the planet doing? Killing a lot of pirates here. Well, that's okay. I don't mind that. Caribbean spice discovered. We have made a highly valuable discovery at the desert planet Bisman 1 in this Bisman system. This planet supplies an extremely rare resource, Caribbean spice. Caribbean Spice greatly enhances the mental powers of any being that consumes it, allowing them to perform incredible electoral feats. Intellectual feats, of course. Colonies supplied with this rare resource would gain an enormous development bonus. Obviously, we should make effort to control it. We should hurry to build a mining station at this location, or better still, send a colony ship to establish a new colony here. So let's go to the event location. And I believe all of these uh, special uh, things are protected by some sort of... Um, 
space animal. This, in this instance, it's the sand slug of Bispen. But where are this planet located? So it's up here somewhere. So with a, uh, that, this actually makes it even more uh, more of a reason to take this planet, so we can uh, use this to defend this. Uh, we won't be able to colonize this planet, and we probably won't want to with this low of quality. But we definitely want some mining station down here. And there's also some um, ships here that we can uh, repair. A lot of nice ships, actually. I might actually want to get a fleet in there right away. Is it a pirate base? No, it's the Nexillions. So it's these guys down here, who has a base all the way up here. They might lose that. That might disappear for some strange reason. Let's see what that's gonna cost us. Oh, that's not gonna be uh, expensive, so that's not a problem. So think I'm gonna make a... I think I'm gonna make a tiny... Uh, Defensive fleet uh, ascended for this system, um, and then I'm gonna build a couple of extra uh, construction ships, and we're gonna probably dedicate four construction ships to repairing all these advanced ships. Well, pr hopefully advanced, but uh, definitely big, so they must be advanced. Uh, so I think we're gonna do that. Um, we also have something up here, dead zone. Oh, that's probably with the, all the giant kilters. Yeah. Um, so let's get the fleet going. Uh, we'll just uh, we don't have a sp we won't have a spaceport up there, so I don't want to get bored. So I'm just gonna add a couple of uh, and some cruisers. And what was that system called? The Bispen. We might as well call them uh, the Bispen Spice. Bispen Spice Defense Fleet. So, and I'm also gonna build. Uh, Construction ships, but uh, the Huron Hive is currently occupied by this. So we want to find some other planet that has a relatively high construction speed. Uh, we're just gonna go with Dayu uh, Six here and build a couple of extra construction ships. It'll take some time, but it's all right. Um, and I think I'm gonna s get these guys out of here. Uh, we're gonna take down this base, I think. And how are we doing down here in Myanmar? Oh, Mi Myanmar. This? I wanna call it Myanmar, like the country. But anyways, still fighting that those pirates, and we got them out of there. So, let's garrison some troops. I'm just gonna garrison, garrison, garrison. Garrison, Garrison, and Garrison. And then we're gonna pick up the rest. Do we have any troops that. extra troops at the hive? Yes, we do. So, uh. uh let's go. A couple more. And uh, we'll go home and fill up these ships. And what about that defense fleet? Is that ready yet? The Myanmar. No, not not really. But it's getting there. And we might as well send them home then. Let's just send them to the hive. And since I'm kind of using this as a base now, uh, to to kind of base a lot of ships and stuff like that, I might 
want to defend it a bit more. I know we, d we aren't getting attacked yet, but it will be too late to start building bases once we are attacked. So I think I'm going to build a couple of defensive bases here. Before I do that, I just want to check out my design for those. Because we haven't used, used them yet, so we can just edit it. Um, and we are getting near to the end of the episode, so... Um, oh, cancel that. I'm just gonna do an auto upgrade and then hit it. Uh, we are getting near to the end of the episode, so I'm just gonna end this episode with looking at the different base designs um, and also the, the last base ports. So, uh, if you don't wanna watch that stuff, just. Uh, well, I guess you can just leave if you don't wanna watch that. Um. So we have some Maxus Blasters and some Concussion Missiles. I think I will also want to add some... Railguns, some heavy Railguns to this design, just to kind of scare off uh, attackers. Because they do uh, do attack uh, armor first. Or, yeah, two shields and two armor. And we don't need more energy than this to... F uh, yeah, we do. We actually do need one more. Just on the edge of that. Uh, but it won't be too expensive. 3000 isn't too bad. Maybe we want to add some fighters, actually. Yeah, let's add a couple of fighter base. And we need some more life support. So, a bit more expensive, but it's nice to have some fighters on there, I think. Yeah, I think this is alright. So let's save this. And we're just gonna go look at these also. Let's do a manual upgrade. We're gonna do a revision A mark 3. Okay, and on this, the small one, we have three construction bays. I think I'm gonna want to get that up to maybe. How much does one of these cost? Uh. Don't cost that much to uh, maintain, actually. So I think I'm gonna go to six for the small, uh, small ones. And for the mediums, I'm gonna go to ten, I think. Oh, I need to do a manual upgrade, actually. Division A, mark three. Uh, and we wanna add combat. Oh, it was already on there. I just didn't sort this. Uh, and I want to add some more of these construction yards up to ten, I think. And we also want this upgraded to sixteen, I think. Will be enough for now, anyways. Uh, and do we have combat targeting and stuff like that on? Yes. I don't know if countermeasures will actually do something for our base. Uh, I think I'm gonna put them on and uh, if you know, please put a comment in uh, the description and we can change that before we... I'm just gonna... I'm not gonna put them on and we can retrofit them later. Uh, but please, if you know uh, that, uh, put it in the comment uh, so we can find out. Okay, I think we have it all, yes. So we can build a couple of defensive bases now. Just choose the planet, build a defensive base, and we'll build one on the upside side as well. And we'll retrofit this spaceport. Okay. I think this is it. Thank you for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, have a good time.